Hi, I'm Ken. Today we're talking about knots, basic knots that every gym and aspiring outdoor climber should know. The four we'll cover today are re-threaded figure of eight knot, figure eight on a bite, clove hitch, and overhand knot on a bite. The first knot we're going to demonstrate is the re-threaded figure of eight knot. Here I have a finished version of it. You can see it's all completed. It's what we use to tie into the sharp end of the rope when we're beginning a climb. It's also something we use in our static rope setup, which is something we're going to go over in a future video. My assistant Michael will now demonstrate. What she does is take a length of rope, she's going to loop it around, this is to form the figure eight part, pokes that rope right through and now she's got the figure eight. So what she's going to do now is she's going to thread it through the harness. Some harnesses have two loops, this one has one loop. Now she's going to literally retrace or rethread that figure eight knot. See how she follows it along? <clears throat> Following the knot all the way through and around and back through again. Again, this is a basic knot that we need to know in order to tie into the rope. She's got it all nicely tied up. She's got a whole figure eight. It is re completely rethreaded and now she's going to tie off a stopper knot at the top. This is a safety thing just so that it doesn't Un, for any reason try to untie itself. And the way we double check this, very simply, we count the two, 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 adds up to five doubles of rope and we know we've got our figure eight re-threaded. The next knot we'll show you today is the figure eight on a bite. This has a few useful applications during climbing, but the most frequently used is as part of a static rope setup. Michael takes a, a loop, threads it around, through, around the back and she actually creates that figure eight that we saw before but it has this loop and this loop is called a bite. This is where a carabiner will eventually go through when we incorporate this into a static rope setup. The next knot we're going to go over is a clove hitch. Clove hitch is very useful. It's a, it's a knot that helps you tie off. Uh, a lot of times I use it during a multi-pitch climb. Sometimes I'll use it if I'm uh, using protection to set up a static rope. What we're going to do is now demonstrate with Michael. She's going to take and form two opposing loops. The knot goes, the loop goes each, she's going to cross them over so they're opposing. And now what makes this work is you're going to tie it into a carabiner. And once it's on the carabiner, now she can tighten this up. And the beauty of this knot is that now it's tied, she can adjust it without losing the integrity or the safety of the knot. She can adjust it. The knot stays in place, she made it a little bit longer, and she was never unsafe during that whole process. The final knot we're going to do today is overhand on a bite. This is a simpler version of the figure eight on a bite that we showed earlier. Where this is useful, I don't often use it uh, to support me, but I usually do it to help manage the rope if I'm going to change the rope up and I just need to make sure I don't lose the rope or drop the rope in the middle of a climb. So Michael's going to demonstrate this for us. She's going to take, again, form a bite with this loop. That's what we call a bite. And now she's going to loop it around. And it's going to start to look exactly like the figure eight on a bite, but it's simpler. It's just an overhand on a bite. And like I said, I use this if I'm trying to manage a rope, if I'm switching a rope through uh, locking beaners or an anchor at the top of a climb, this is where I'm going to use this rope. I'm not going to use all my weight on it. Uh, the other place I can use it is as part of the static rope set up and that we're going to show you in a future video. Thanks for watching. Each of these knots is used routinely in climbing and they are the ones that every beginner climber should know and have in their arsenal. Stay tuned for more instructional videos as we demonstrate some of the essentials of outdoor climbing.